Hello, today we're going to go over the SanDisk iExpand integration with Mobile VR Station for iOS. So first we need to go over the concept of what this integration hopes to achieve. So the main goal is we want to offload large VR videos off the iPhone onto the iExpand drive, which then the iExpand drives come in 32 to 256 gigabytes in size. And then some other benefits with the iExpand drive is you can add files directly to the drive from a PC or Mac, which makes it a lot simpler to move files over. And then also you can use the uh, iExpand's built-in app to transfer photos and videos that you've taken onto the drive. All right, there are two different types of the iExpand drive. There's the loop style and the swivel style. And then I believe the swivel style is actually probably more appropriate for VR use because the loop style one, if you tried to use it with a uh, VR headset, which actually clamshells the phone in there, like it's, it's going to hit the clamshell. So it's probably not going to work out very well. So I would still recommend the swivel style instead just because it's going to poke out of the side. And then another question you ask is, do you have the right headset for the iExpand drive to work? Like in the two example photos here, they need to have a space for the iExpand drive to fit into the iPhone while the iPhone is actually in the cradle. You know, like so in the case of the uh, Merge headset, it has a hole for the headphones, so it'll work there. And then in Bobo VR, it has, you know, it's just exposed on the side, so it's easy to plug it in. I just want to quickly show a headset that would not work with the iExpand drive. Because in this example, there's no place for it to stick out when you close the actual clamshell. So this is the iExpand drive that I got off of Amazon. And then to use it, you just need to plug it into the bottom of your phone. And then usually it'll pop up a little notice. You just have to like cancel that. And then you should be good to go to use it in the app. And then from what the app, just hit browse content. Then there's a new SanDisk iExpand item. Then you view content, then browse to the folder you want, then you can click on the item, and then it's just going to load up into the player, and then as in here, we have a scene from Big Buck Bunny playing, and that's generally how it works. And thanks, this has been a fun feature to implement.